Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. And in this small video, I'm going to show you that how you can perform authentication in your SIF UI application using Firebase Auth. So the first thing you need to do is go to your application, go to the authentication, go to the sign-in method, and select the sign-in method that you want. You can see that right now I am selecting the email and password, which basically means that in order for me to authenticate or our user to be authenticated, they should provide a valid email address and a password. You can see that there are many other different ways of authenticating also. But right now, we're just using the email and password. The next thing that you want to do in your application will be to download the parts. So inside your pod file, make sure that you have pod Firebase Auth. This is the pod that is going to download the authentication framework for Firebase. Once you have added this and you ran pod install, authentication pod will be installed, authentication framework will be installed, and you are ready to go. Now, if I go to my view, I have two different views one for the registration view. You can see that right now the registration view is calling the register function. And the same thing with the login. The login is firing the login function. So how do we register and how do we log in? Well, if I go to the registration view model, you can see that, well, I'm not really doing anything over here. So now I can go ahead and start using the Firebase authentication feature. First, make sure that the Firebase is imported at the top. Now I can simply call auth dot auth dot create user and create user have different overloads. The one that we are using takes into account the email and the password, and it's going to give us some sort of a completion result and the error. If we get the error. Then we'll simply go ahead and first of all display it. Else, we should go ahead and fire a completion handler telling the user that registration has been done. And the same exact process goes for login. So if we check out our login view model, you can call authentication.auth.signin. Once again, we will sign in with an email and a password. So we will pass an email, we will pass in password. We will get the result and the error. If let error equals to error, then we will, well, simply go ahead and kind of like display it right now in the localized description. Else, we will fire the completion handler telling that, well, it has been the person has been logged in. With those things in place, let's go ahead and run our application and see if we are able to create a brand new account and then log in. Now, this Fungi Finder app that you're looking at, this is part of my new course that I'm currently working on. So I'm going to go ahead and try to create an account by clicking on the Create Account. And once on this page, I can go ahead and create an account. So I'm going to say Jerry at gmail.com with a password which is password and the account should be created but i can double check let's go to my users and let's go ahead and refresh and right over here you can see jerry the one that we just created if i go back and i log in with jerry with password it is fine and now it takes me to the home screen all right so this is basically uh, how you do creating a user and authentication in firebase if you like this video and want to support my channel then check out my courses on udemy i have many different courses including a 21 plus hour course on SurfUI. 
I released a new course on composable SWIFT UI architecture also. I have courses on NVVM design pattern, RX Swift combines, server-side Swift, and even Flutter, uh, me, uh, the uh, intermediate level course on Flutter, machine learning, test-driven development, AR kit, and much, much more. Now, all the links are in the YouTube description. So go ahead and use the links in the YouTube description. And uh, once again, thank you so much for watching.